So me and a few family members have come up here for a nice weekend in the bush. So it won't be purely hunting, but I reckon we'll sneak out a couple of times to have a look around. The deer expo was on in Bendigo this weekend, but um, yeah, I couldn't. The drive up there was the same as the drive here, so I thought maybe come out here instead, save a bit of money. So I've just hopped up in the morning. We've just crashed down here for camp tonight. I'm just having a look around on all these faces behind me. Yeah, it looks pretty nice up there, but no deer yet. I did have a bit of a sleep in though, so they might already be bedded up. But yeah, we'll keep the camera on and we'll see how we go. So we're gearing up for the evening hunt. So it's pretty warm today, so I think the last hour or so of light is going to be the hours really to concentrate on. And also pretty important to look into those little shady, moist gullies. So I've got a plan sorted. I'm just going to go over this little side here and drop down. And there's a bit of a bluffy, bluffy area down there in that gully. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to sit on this side and watch over there, which is the west face roughly, or if I go around to the other side and watch back here. The good thing about going around the other side is if you do shoot something, it's most likely going to be back on this side, which is where we can get the car to. Um, but obviously it's a lot, a bit further of a walk out if I stay in there till dark. So I'm going to poke in this side, drop down, have a look, see what it's like, and then decide once we're down there. It's been so hot it's really just coming out of the end of summer now it's um february the end of february now and i've been itching to get out so i'm so excited to finally be out it's going to be a sweaty one but the deer are still here we just got to find them so yeah we'll focus on those shady little spots and um see how we go should be good it's going to be the first outing for the new tika too so that's pretty exciting I'm still just shooting the um, factory Winchester 150 grains. I haven't been able to get a hand load sorted yet, so for now it's just going to be factory ammo. Got the, um, the Znicky's turrets all the way out to 450 there. So we're in business. Right, let's go. sort of ground I was looking for. I can stand on this side and look across to all that sort of stuff and there's lots of nice little clearings that are full of green grass across there. Look at that little section there. Have a look at all that grass. So I reckon when the sun drops off, which shouldn't be too long now, you can see it's already sort of disappearing. I reckon they'll start to move into those clearings.
spots like this is I'll just drop my pack and you just move around and try and get different angles into the bush see if you can pick the deer up and that's a big benefit to having the bino rig because you can you got your binos, spare ammo, earplugs, wind meter, GPS I've got my um, PL band there so hopefully the deer will be up on their feet in a minute Just spot a stag. I think he's a velvet. Then a young. He's definitely in velvet. footage, I haven't got the tripod out. He's up a lot higher than I was expecting to see him. He's right up the top there. Maybe I should get the tripod out. Well, we can say goodbye to steady footage. I just realised I left the um, clip thing on the other tripod back at camp. some wobbly deer footage. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more than one deer up here. He's maybe the first one to move, but it's amazing. You're looking around with your binos, you see nothing, you see nothing, and all of a sudden, pop, there it is. And they stand out, def definitely in the sun too. They stand out quite a lot. But when it's sunny, it's hard to pick the deer through the trees. Like trees cast all weird sort of shadows, and it's hard to pick them up. Once it's all in shadow, their movement really stands out. So, um, keep our eyes peeled, and I reckon we might spot a few. stags up there but um you guys will see it in the footage anyway and I'll have a look back too. But yeah, it's good to see them out feeding fairly early. It means there's not too much pressure in here which is always a good thing. But yeah definitely a spot to uh, mark down on the GPS to come back to when they're all in hard antler. It'll be a bit of a tough recovery out of there but that's what it's all about. pretty bright on the camera but yeah it's hard to see in the binos now and I'm not real keen to walk out of here under head torch either it's pretty steep and rocky so um, we'll head back to camp and have a bit of a cook up and uh, yeah what an awesome day plenty of good views a deer I uh, can't ask for much more than that so we'll start the walk out of here
I'll remember to swap the thingy onto the tripod this time. action in a while but there is some fresh prints going through it. Still an active area but not an active wallow at the moment. I think with all the stags being in velvet they're not going to be wallowing and all that so probably makes sense. Good spot to have a look around for a casty there. Well as I was standing here in the wallow and saying it's not that fresh, I copped a big whiff of stag and it looks like he's been doing a bit of a preach here. And I looked up. And that, it's an old dead tree, but it looks like he might have actually had a little scrape up here. So I'm going to have a look around. Maybe there still is a couple in heart out there. now and we do have to go home today so I'm just making my way back back to the car that was pretty good I found a couple of wallows and saw one deer I think it was a young stag and I don't reckon he was in velvet either it looked like I could see white tips on him so I suppose they do say it is pretty random the sample but yeah interesting to see always sad to go home but We'll have a bit of a look around on our way out as well. So we'll see how we go. As always, just as we're leaving, thought we'll have a quick glass and spotted a deer. I can't see if it's a hind or a stag, I just spotted its orange bum. It's standing, so it's obviously not better, but maybe it's just having a stretch. There we go. Yeah, it's a velvet stag, you can see his head now. There, it's walking, walking. It's hard to see now. Right behind that tree I was talking about now. There he is, he's coming out the top. Is he velvet? I think. Just maybe coming out of velvet. You should be able to see him now. Just look anywhere along there, you should be able to spot him. I think that might be the last of him, he's going into some pretty thick stuff now. Thank you. 